Hi there. Today we're going to learn such an inspiring story and the title of the prose is Bravo Manju and it was written by Sigun Srivatsa. First we'll have a glimpse of the author. Sigun Srivatsa is an Indian author and an artist of German origin. She is a multifaceted artist, a writer, a sculptor and an illustrator. As a writer, she has written over 25 books for children of all ages which are depicted with right sensitivity of child's feelings dreams, joys and fears. As an artist, she has many picture books to her credit. Her writing reflects a strong social awareness about the environment, the plight of the differently abled and poverty. Now we'll move on to the introduction of the prose. Manjula was a differently abled child, having claw-like fingers that were malformed. Other parts of her body were also deformed. She loved to draw and expected she could paint well. With inspiration from the family and seeing somebody playing soccer with artificial legs, she started to fight the battle on her own. Does she overcome her hurdles and take up the challenges or give up? Let's find out. And these are the characters of the prose. Manjula Palerkar knew she would never paint like Hussein, not with those fingers, just two on each hand. Handling brushes was not a problem. Her problem was the cost of the material she would need. Mummy, she asked one evening while helping her mother in the kitchen after dinner. Do you think I could? She paused nervously. I could have some extra money tomorrow. What do you need it for? Asked her mother gently, rinsing the dishes. For colors and paints? I, I want to learn painting. Mrs. Parlekar looked at her daughter searchingly. After some time, she pressed some money into Manjula's hands. Go ahead and buy whatever you need, dear. Have fun and show me the painting. So here the protagonist, Manjula, is self-aware that she would never paint like Hussein, the great Indian artist, M. F. Hussein. She has only two fingers on each hand. The problem was not with, the, with handling brushes, but the expense of the material that she needed. So with quite a hesitation, she approached her mother, who was busy in the kitchen washing, washing or rinsing dishes. After, lis after listening to her daughter and by looking at her in a questioning manner, her mother pressed some money into Manjula's hand and asked her to buy whatever she wanted. She also asked her to show the painting once she was done with the same. Manjula showed her first painting to her mother the very next day. Manjula cried her mother dropping the needlework in surprise. Why, that is beautiful. I don't know, you are so good. You must show it to Papa. He will be impressed. Manjula returned to her brushes and paints. Nobody had asked Manjula what she wanted for her 13th birthday, as she got all she had secretly wished for. Oh, mummy, mummy, cried Manjula, overwhelmed. A set of artist's watercolors. Thank you, thank you so much. And this is from your father. Her mother pressed a book in her hands. So the next day, Manjula finished her painting, the first painting, and she showed it to her mother, who was busy with the needlework. Her mother was so astonished at the painting of her daughter and asked her and asked her to show the same to her father. After that, Manjula returned to continue to continue to painting her work, and nobody asked her what she wanted for her thirteenth birthday. Yet she received the most unexpected gift from her family. Her mother presented watercolors, and from her father, a step by step drawing a book. Painting step by step, Manjula jumped in excitement, a dark eyes shining with happiness. Oh, Papa, I could never have dreamt of this. You wouldn't have dreamt of my present either, said her brother Amol with a mischievous smile. He pulled her to a bread bedroom. Amol lifted the pillow for her and there, tied with a pink ribbon, lay their watercolor brushes. Sable hair, said her brother, artist's quality. And from her brother, brother she received three sable hair painting brushes, which were of artist quality. Manjula was so excited to receive her secretly wished drawing materials. Manjula studied the new book from cover to cover and soon used up all her papers. She knew for good watercolor paintings, she needed special watercolor papers, which was expensive. But she asked her mother anyway. It's not a matter of few sheets, said Mr. Palekar wearily when Mrs. Palekar spoke to him after dinner. After watercolors, it will be oils, then canvases and what not. Why doesn't she learn something more useful, like cooking or stitching? With those hands of hers, she'll never become an artist. 
So Manjula soon used up all the papers of her new books. She knew very well that for special watercolor she needed some special papers which was expensive. And she asked her mother for the same. After the dinner, the parents spoke about the special papers that Manjula wished for. Uh, but the father said wearily that he doesn't mind buying those painting materials. You know, he believes that it will be more useful for Manjula to learn cooking or stitching instead of painting. And the father was so sure if that if with that those hands, Manjula will never become an artist. And the mother was so disappointed on hearing this and showed her objection. Manjula, who had heard the conversation, returned to her room. She bundled up the watercolors and three brushes and tucked them away in, into the father's corner of a cupboard. Mother, she said the next day, coming into the kitchen, do you need some help in cooking? Why, Manju? Her mother looked at her in surprise, glimpsing the pain in her eyes. So Manjula, who heard the conversation of the parents, was so much heartbroken and returned to her room, a bedroom. She also put away the painting materials in a corner of a room and decided not to paint again. So the next morning, Manjula was ready to help her mother in the kitchen and she also uh, like, uh, wanted to help her in the kitchen. So let's see what happened next. So because, said Manjula, in as a steady a voice as she could manage, because I stopped painting and I think cooking is a useful thing. But why? Anmul was shocked. I thought you would enter the on-the-spot painting competition in November at my school. You would have easily backed the first prize. Manjula was through with the art and she had given it up for the good. However much it hurt, however much. So the next morning Manjula was ready to help her mother in the kitchen and she also told her mother that it is useful for her to learn cooking rather painting and she added that she gave up painting forever. And hearing this, both the mother and brother were shocked. And the dream of participating in the painting competition was also post. But deep in her heart, Manjula was so hurt. So we'll see whether Manjula, Manjula gathered up all her courage and fought a battle or gave her passion forever in part two. And these are the vocabulary from the lesson. And this is the picture of the Indian artist MS, MF Hussain. And these are the most famous paintings. Of MS Hussein and this is the picture of the animal sable and the paint brushes that made from sable fur and that's the end of the part one and the rest of the lesson will be covered up in part two thank you